You may look in the mirror and say, boy, I need to lose weight. I think most of us do, but what you may not realize is that if you're carrying around excessive body fat, it can impact your health and how long you live. If you need to lose weight, you wanna be sure to do so in a healthy way. Once you determine how much weight you need to lose, you can determine a realistic timeline. Remember, it takes 3,500 calories to burn one pound of fat. It is realistic to lose one pound a week, or in other words, eat 500 calories less than we burn each day. It may take you a little longer than you like to reach your goal, but you'll be much happier, healthier, and more likely to remain fit by slow and steady weight loss. Health should be the main goal. A healthy weight loss plan should have these key components. Encourage slow and healthy weight loss, about one to two pounds a week. Allow people the flexibility to occasionally eat less than ideal foods. Meets all the nutritional needs of the individual. Alters unhealthy behavior. Encourages regular physical activity. And promotes doctor visits during this journey. If you followed these guidelines, lost weight and kept it off, it was because you were consuming fewer calories than you were expending. It's a relatively simple equation. If you wanna lose weight, the food calories you eat need to be less than the calories you expend during a day. In other words, to lose body fat, energy in, needs to be less than energy out. Your body needs to get the energy from somewhere, so it's gonna pull the needed calories from the physical activity from the fat reserves in your belly, thighs, and all over. You will lose weight in part because you're losing fat. You may be on the flip side where you've recently gained a lot of weight. People may ask you a similar question, are you gaining healthy weight? What they're asking is are you increasing your muscle mass while maintaining or decreasing the amount of fat in your body? And are you doing so by consuming healthy foods rather than fast food? It makes sense that the only way you're going to gain weight is by consuming more calories than you're expending. So if you're in sports and want to increase your muscle mass, you need to eat enough fruits, vegetables, and choose a variety of healthy foods that are high in calories to offset your activity. For example, you can increase your intake of high calorie nuts. They may be high in fat, but they're high in healthy, unsaturated fatty acids that can benefit your overall health. And if you're happy maintaining your current weight, you need to consume the same number of calories that you expend in a day. It all sounds simple when it's put in mathematical terms until you realize how delicate a balance it really is. For example, one pound of fat is the equivalent of 3,500 stored calories. May sound like a lot. However, if you consume only 10 extra calories per day over the course of a year, you gain a pound. Or if you put a small dollop of mayonnaise on your sandwich each day that adds an extra 50 calories per day, or five pounds a year. Over the course of 10 years, that mayo could cause you to gain 50 pounds. I know it sounds incredible that some of us have maintained the same weight for many years without fluctuating more than a couple pounds, and we have mechanisms in our brain that respond to changes in our body and help us maintain weight, but sometimes that extra beer, slice of pizza, or large sizing a meal on occasion can cause us to gain weight slowly and steadily. Over the course of years, it can add up and compromise our health.